Happy Tuesday, fellow Y members. Doug Walker behind the camera. And as we do every Tuesday, Jacqueline White, our health and wellness director, is in front of the camera. <laughs> and you probably noticed we've gotten a lot of brand new equipment in the Y over the past several weeks. Mm -hmm. And every Tuesday, Jacqueline demonstrates how to use this equipment to your fitness benefit. Jacqueline, what do we have today? Yeah, we're changing pace a little bit today. So we're gonna go over, um, this is our uh, matrix virtual training cycle. They like to call it like a hybrid cycle. So if you really like the feel of a true bicycle or more like that spin bike feel, um, more like riding on an actual road, this is the piece of equipment for you. So. Um, it's got really, I would like to compare it to like a performance bicycle. So uh, this machine doesn't have the television on and it's not really that kind of leisurely piece of equipment. Um, it's more of a performance cycle where you go in and actually do workouts. There's all kinds of things you can do on here. So um, first of all, just to kind of get you set up, the biggest thing um, are the adjustments. So I love that Matrix has done this. Um, any of these kind of bright orange, bright yellow pieces are your adjustments. So the first thing that I would adjust um, is your seat height. So when you stand next to your bike, your seat should be about hip level. It's a little high for me right now. So I would just pull on this and kind of stand next to it and see about where that seat height needs to be. And then once you hop in, you can kind of adjust this as well. So it pulls back and you can sit closer to the handlebars or further away from the handlebars. I'm gonna sit pretty close to them here and then lock it into place. Now there's two options as far as the pedals go. I'm gonna pull this one up so you can see it a little bit better. So you can either go in with the strap. So anyone that has just a regular tennis shoe on can go in here. Or if you like more of that cycle feel and you actually have cycling shoes, on the underside you can clip in as well. So two options there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in. All right, that feels good. A uh, few different things. If you're familiar with a, a road bike or a spin bike, you can either have your hands here. You can kind of go into that sport mode, okay, or that sprinting mode, um, just by changing that placement here. And then you can also come up and out of the seat. So I'm gonna show you um, a little bit about the, uh, the screen display. This kind of throws people off because it's just something new. Uh, if you're new to this matrix piece, if you just want to start riding, you can hit guest and then it'll take you right in and there's all kinds of different scenic um, layouts that you can do. Um, the biggest question we always get, I'm going to take you back and kind of take you to the home screen here. If you do want to kind of keep track of your progress, um, you can go into register. Now it's gonna ask for an XID, uh, 10 to 14 digits. I recommend you just put in your phone number and a four digit passcode, put in your contact information, and then it will remember you each time you log in. That comes in handy if you want to do, I'm just gonna do guest here real quick just to show you. So if you ever wanted to go in um, and listen to Pandora or watch Netflix, you log in one time, it'll remember you when you come back. So I'm just gonna go through there's all kinds of different scenes you can choose from. Uh, you can also go into training exercises. So there's all kinds of, you know, if you want hills or intervals, um, a fat burning, if you wanna go for a time or a distance goal, there's custom workouts that you can create. I like to kind of see some pretty scenery while I'm riding. So I'm gonna go to Taiwan here. Uh, you can put in your weight, how long you wanna be on here, what level you wanna start. We're just gonna go. and then it will take you to that location. And then you'll see these little gray bars down here. So this is a pretty flat trail, but there's little tiny gray bars down here at the bottom. And that's gonna show you where your terrain is going to go. So what's nice about this scenic view here is if it looks like I'm going uphill with the bike, it'll actually kick up the resistance a little bit and make it feel like you're going uphill. Same thing with downhill. If you're going down a hill, it'll pull back on that resistance a little bit. So, and you can change that resistance at any time. You can view your calories. Um, this also works with the Samsung Galaxy Watch, Apple Watch, you can buzz right in and it'll keep track of all of that on your watch real time. Uh, and then you can always, uh, let's see here, I'm gonna click on 
the home screen. I just locked it. There we go. So you can always go through, if you don't like this one, you can hit next video. It'll go through and kind of give you a different uh, scenery here. And this will pair in with Bluetooth as well. Um, and we'll do another video, Doug, on, on apps and all the different things that are on this bike. But if you really want that road feel, this is the bike to be on. All right, so what are the benefits of cycling? I mean, obviously it's a pretty good cardio exercise, but mm -hmm. what muscles does it use and how does it help you from a physical standpoint? So this is what we call a, a, it's a cardio piece. That's the category that it falls in. Um, but it's also a little bit of strength training as well because you're strengthening those leg muscles. Now, right now, uh, this trail that I picked, it's pretty low resistance, it's level one. My heart's beating quite a bit right now though, so I'm starting to um, pick up my pace, my heart's beating faster. So that's gonna improve that heart health. My resistance is kicking up a little bit now. So then the more muscles that are involved, really the entire lower body is involved. Um, I like an upright bike too because it gets that core involved a little bit more. Whereas with a recumbent bike, you're sitting back in a seat. Here in an upright bike, or more of a spin bike, you have to use those core muscles to keep yourself upright. So now the screen, that's pretty neat stuff. High tech, state of the art. Mm -hmm. How does that help as far as keeping track of your progress, keeping track of your everything you're doing on the bike? Oh, it's great. I think it, it's, it's really uh, beneficial because it keeps you engaged. I mean, I can sit here and, you know, it looks like I'm actually on a road and it makes me want to be on this longer. Um, so I think it really encourages that physical activity a little bit more and it makes exercise more fun for everybody. Hi, right, Jacqueline White, our health and wellness director. Thanks again for demonstrating this brand new piece of matrix equipment. What's it called once again? Uh, this is the uh, virtual performance cycle, virtual cycle. Matrix. But, but there's nothing virtual about it at all because you're actually doing the work. <laughs> there's all kinds of cool exercises on here. All Just right, gotta play with it. Jacqueline, thanks for joining us. And of course, we will be back again next Tuesday with another demonstration of all the new equipment here at the YMCA. Thanks for watching.